Hi everyone, and welcome to this beginner's guide to FreeSpire, a Linux distribution designed to make the switch from Windows as smooth as possible. First, head over to your web browser and search for FreeSpire on Google. Visit the official FreeSpire website, I'll include the link in the video description, download the latest FreeSpire ISO image. Next, we'll need a tool to create a bootable USB drive. Download Berlina Etcher, the link will be in the video description. Once both downloads are complete, we can proceed with creating the bootable USB drive. Now, connect the USB drive to your computer. Restart your computer and enter the BIOS settings, usually by pressing Dell, F2, or F10 during startup. In the BIOS settings, change the boot order to prioritize the USB drive. Save the changes and exit the BIOS. Your computer will now boot from the FreeSpire USB drive and begin the installation process. This is the Grub bootloader screen. It gives you a few options. We want to select the first option, try or install FreeSpire. Use the up and down arrow keys on your keyboard to highlight this option, and press enter to select. Welcome to the FreeSpire installer. You have two options, Try FreeSpire, lets you test FreeSpire without installing it, while Install FreeSpire, will permanently install it on your system. For this tutorial, we'll choose, Install FreeSpire. Select your keyboard layout and click, Continue. Now, you'll choose your preferred installation type. You can select, Normal Installation, for a complete set of applications, or, Minimal Installation, for a more basic setup. For this tutorial, we'll go with the normal installation. Also, make sure to tick the box for install third party software for graphics and Wi Fi hardware and additional media formats. This will ensure you have the necessary drivers and codecs for your system to work properly. Once you've made your selections, click continue to proceed. For this tutorial, we'll select a raised disk and install FreeSpire for a straightforward installation. Important note. This will delete all data on the selected drive. Ensure you have backed up any important files before proceeding. This screen asks you to select your location. This information is used to set the correct time and date for your system. You can either click on your location on the world map or type the name of your city in the search bar. This screen is where you'll create your user account. Let's fill in the details. Your name, enter your full name. Your computer's name, give your computer a name pick a username. Choose a username for your account. Choose a password, create a strong password for your account. Confirm your password, re-enter your password to confirm. Login options, log in automatically. This option will log you in automatically without requiring a password. Require my password to log in. This option will require you to enter your password each time you log in. For this tutorial, let's select Require my password to log in. Once you've filled in all the information, click Continue to proceed. While FreeSpire is installing, let's take a moment to delve into its history. FreeSpire has its roots in a distribution called Lindos, which was founded in 1999. Lindos aimed to provide a user-friendly Linux experience that was more accessible to Windows users. It included a familiar desktop environment and compatibility with many popular Windows applications. However, Lindos faced legal challenges from Microsoft, which claimed that Lindos infringed on Windows copyrights. This led to several legal battles, ultimately impacting Lindos development and distribution. Despite these challenges, the spirit of Lindos lived on. The Lindos community continued to work on developing a user-friendly Linux distribution, eventually leading to the creation of FreeSpire. FreeSpire builds upon the legacy of Lindos by focusing on ease of use, Windows compatibility, and a familiar desktop experience. Interestingly, the Lindos codebase also influenced the development of other Linux distributions. For example, PC Linux OS, another popular user-friendly distribution, shares some of its roots with Lindos. Furthermore, 
The commercial arm of Lindos evolved into Linspire, a continuing distribution that emphasizes user friendliness, ease of use, and compatibility with Windows applications. Linspire provides a commercial support option for users who require professional assistance. So, while you're waiting for the installation to complete, remember the journey of Freespire and its connection to Lindos, Linspire, and the broader Linux ecosystem. It's a testament to the resilience of the open source community and its commitment to creating accessible and user-friendly Linux distributions. Now the installation is completed. Remove the pendrive and press enter. Enter your password. Type the password you associated with your username. Press enter, and you'll be greeted by the Freespire desktop environment. Freespire typically utilizes the XFCE desktop environment, renowned for its lightweight and user-friendly design. You'll notice several similarities to the Windows interface, making the transition smoother for familiar users. Taskbar, located at the bottom of the screen, the taskbar displays running applications, the system tray, and the start menu. Start menu, click on the start menu icon to access a list of installed applications, system settings, and other utilities. Desktop icons. You can create shortcuts to frequently used files and folders on the desktop for quick access. Freespire comes pre-installed with the Brave browser, prioritizing user privacy and security. A powerful Office suite. One of Freespire's standout features is only Office, a robust Office suite that rivals Microsoft Office. It offers powerful tools for word processing, spreadsheets, and presentations, all within a familiar and user-friendly interface. Only Office Writer offers powerful word processing capabilities with features like spell check, grammar correction, advanced formatting options, and support for various file formats, including docs, ODT, PDF. Only Office Spreadsheet enables you to create, edit, and manage complex spreadsheets with formulas, charts, and pivot tables. Only Office Presentation allows you to design professional presentations with a wide range of features, including animations, transitions, and multimedia integration. Only Office seamlessly integrates with other Freespire applications and provides a productive and efficient office environment. Freespire offers a refreshing take on the Linux experience. With its user-friendly interface, powerful applications like only office and a strong emphasis on ease of use it's a fantastic option for both newcomers and those looking for a reliable and customizable operating system i've personally been impressed by freespire and i think you will be too give it a try and see for yourself what the open source world has to offer and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more linux tips tricks and reviews thanks for watching